Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be bringing a really big book haul. I don't know how many books this is, but I have basically accumulated a lot over the past few months. So the last book haul I did was I think in July. So these are all of the books that I have gotten through the second half of July, August, September, October. I'll be honest, I did buy all of these myself because I've just been having like lots of fun refilling my bookshelves with books that I'm really excited for again, like since I did my big unhaul and also like now that I'm kind of like learning what I actually like to read. So I'm just going to pick them up as I go and explain them and go from there. So the first book I have to show you is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. This is a self-published novel. It is a romance novel. I've heard so many good things about this one. This is definitely like a TikTok recommendation, but also I have heard like just renowned like all around good things about this book and apparently the love interest is really good and really well written and I'm just really excited for it so I decided to get that one and I'm really happy that I managed to get a hold of it. The next books that I got I'll show you like both together although I got them at separate times so I decided to get Kingdom of the Wicked and then I got Kingdom of the Cursed by Carrie Maniscalco. I have read both of these now and honestly I'm just really enjoying myself like they're a little bit Bit cringe like with the writing but honestly I still love them so much the characters are great the plot is great the world building is great it basically follows a witch named Amelia who ends up finding her sister dead one day and she ends up partnering with a demon prince named Wrath to try and find the killer and get revenge and it goes from there and it's very very fun really really enjoyable and then I have to show you A Diary of Blood by St. Gibson I have also already read this one loved it amazing again this is another one that I've seen a lot of hype for this basically follows one of Dracula's brides and really explores abusive relationships and getting out of them and healing from them and it was just really really beautifully written like the writing in this is just next level stunning like it's so pretty really glad I picked this one up it's also really short as well if you want to check it out so the next one is another favorite that I've already read and that is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake and I had so much fun reading this to be honest like there's not necessarily a lot of plot. It is very character driven, which I like and prefer in books. This is basically about a group of six people who get invited to go to the Alexandrian Society. This society is really top secret, produces lots of really like smart, talented people who come out of it. Six of them go into this society and then only five of them end up coming out. And it follows basically their entire first year. There are illustrations in this as well like there they are so so pretty I love them I think if you like Duck Academia or character driven novels you'll really like this one and this one is also now being officially published by Tor apparently which I'm very excited for because it's going to be coming out in like hardcover with a new cover and whatnot and it's just it's going to be so good. I'm so excited. Next up, I have a couple of Taylor Jenkins Reid novels. And so I got After I Do and Forever Interrupted. Since I read Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones like a few years ago for the first time, I really wanted to get to her backlog. So I ended up reading After I Do. No, no. I read Forever Interrupted, not After I Do. I still need to read After I Do but I read Forever Interrupted. <laughs> I enjoyed this one. It was like fine. It wasn't like anything super memorable. It definitely isn't high up there like Evelyn Hugo is for me or even Daisy Jones, but I'm really excited to still read her backlog and just kind of see her work before you know, the complete hits that her last few have been. Next up, I have Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro. And I ended up just picking this up on a whim, honestly, just because I really, really love the cover. This I really enjoyed. It was very different to anything I've really read. I don't read a lot of literary fiction 
but as I said before I'm starting to kind of like explore more genres very slowly and kind of broaden my reading which I'm really having fun doing this is about artificial intelligence and humanity and it, it's basically told through the perspective of an artificial friend which is a AI robot essentially Clara is picked up by this little girl and her family and she ends up kind of experiencing humanity for the first time with really fresh eyes so there's really lots of interesting like perspectives in here and it kind of just ties together really like intricately and slowly but it's really really beautiful this son as the title suggests as well is very much like its own character in this the main character clara runs on solar power and so she ends up kind of worshiping the sun as kind of like a god and that adds a really interesting aspect to this as well so if you do like literary fiction or even like science fiction I'd probably give this one a go I really enjoyed it it was very different for me but I liked it next up I have the ones we're meant to find by Joan He and I've heard really good things about this one I'm not gonna lie I don't know too much about it I've heard it's really sad and I think it's like set on an abandoned island. I think this one delves a little bit into like climate change and it's a little bit sci-fi as well. I don't think it's like a straight up contemporary despite what the kind of cover looks like. Like the cover is very contemporary. Yes, I'm very excited for that one. I've heard really, really good things. Next up, I have Shiva by Junji Ito. If you've been watching my vlogs for the past few months, you'll know that I'm slowly becoming obsessed with his work. And so I decided to pick this one up and I think of what I've read so far, this is probably my favorite collection of his. I like I really enjoy Gyo but I just love so many of the stories in this collection and it has like this one specifically I don't think all of them do but this one specifically have like his sketches and whatnot as well like his original sketches before they're actually turned into the manga I love his work I want all of his stuff eventually next up I have another graphic novel and that is Feelings A Story In Seasons by Manjit Thap and this one is a really short like really pretty looking graphic novel it is basically the visual journey of a woman's emotions over the duration of one year and it just looks and sounds really really beautiful i think this is just gonna be like a really beautifully written and like emotional book and i'm really excited for it the art looks amazing as well like i really love the colors and everything like it just looks so stunning like really really pretty next up i have the manning tree witches by ak blakemore as you can see i have started reading this one technically but i did end up putting it down just because i was in a bit of a book hangover for the day so i will link that vlog down below if you want to have a look at it this one is set in the 1600s in england in this book in the town of manning tree it is like completely depleted of men and it explores the villages and everything that is going on as well. I also love the cover. The cover is beautiful and I am excited for it. I haven't really heard anyone talk about this one, but regardless, I think it's going to be a really interesting book. Next up, I have The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. And this is the third and final book in the Folk of the Air trilogy. Again, if you've been following my vlogs for the past few months i am very new to the cruel prince trilogy i jumped on the bandwagon like really really late and i'm so glad i finally decided to pick up the trilogy because i'm having so much fun reading it i already had the first two but i knew i needed to get the third book so i got the third book and i'm really excited to pick it up next up i have a little life by hanya yanagihara and this is a big chonky book like it's massive it's a little bit floppy which helps and honestly i don't know anything about this apart from the fact that it's probably gonna rip out my heart i've heard really good things about it well good things as in it's very emotional and it's a good story <laughs> It's not a very happy one. Apparently it's very, 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 very sad. But 
I'm still looking forward to it and I decided to pick it up. Next up I have Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi. I believe this one is about two sisters who are very very different from each other and then one of them ends up getting cancer. So I think it's going to be a very emotional, very sad contemporary. I have heard so many good things about Mary H.K. Choi's work in general. I really need to get to her other stuff. Like I have permanent record here and I still haven't read it. I think she's an author I'm really going to love. So I'm really, really excited for this one. Next, I have The Black Flamingo by Dean Adder. I am so excited for this one, like everything else in this haul. This one is very short and sweet. This is about a boy named Michael who ends up entering the drag world. Throughout this novel, he ends up coming to terms with his identity as a mixed race gay teen. Apparently, it's a really beautifully well-told story. It's it's also like kind of told in verse as well so like lots of really short like pages and also I've heard the audiobook is really good but I really want to physically read it just because like you've got so many like additions to the to the pages like with drawings and whatnot as well which I think will really add to it so I'm really really excited about that I've heard honestly so many good things and finally i have the song of achilles by madeline miller and i have had this on my radar for years now like i remember seeing hype about this maybe like five years ago on like booktube and in the book community and i just kind of forgot about it like i was always interested but i never got it and then it started getting hyped up again this year and then my interest was peaked again so decided it's about time i finally read this very excited again i'm pretty sure this one is going to make me cry but i am so so hyped for this book and i really love like the the modern classics cover i just think it's really pretty okay so they are all of the books that i've gotten over the past few months let me know if i should prioritize any of these of the ones that i haven't already read yet because honestly i'm just so hyped for all of them and i don't ever know where to start honestly let me know any thoughts that you have about any of these books down below and remember to like this video if you did like it and subscribe to the channel if you want more content from me i hope you have a good day or night and i'll see you all next time for a new video Bye.